to YouTube. This is part two of my uh, end of February pickups video. Um, what I've got to show you now is uh, a few charity shop pickups and some more Granger games. Um, so starting off with Granger games, uh, visiting a different store uh, last weekend. As I mentioned in the last video, I went to the road to a town that I've never visited before, oddly enough even though it's so close uh, and I went into the Granger games there and again they were having the same offer uh, all the DVDs, well, not all but almost all the DVDs down to 50 pence each um, so I picked a few up uh, again like a few of the other stores they look as if they've been pretty well picked through but there's still, still some uh, good pickups in there so firstly I got uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. This is the uh, the 1980s BBC TV series. Uh, I remember watching this when it was on the telly, but uh, I don't know that I've watched it since. So uh, I'm intrigued to see how that holds up. Uh, and I've got some Darren Brown, Trick of the Mind. Um, do I have some Darren Brown? A film that I can't decide whether I've seen before or not. Uh, rancid aluminium with uh, Reese Farns. Um, it sounds familiar, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether I've seen that or not. Um, and some uh, Jodie Foster in contact. And one of these uh, snapper cases that uh, I do like to collect. And I don't have this film either. And from what I recall, it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, some more Top Gear. This is uh, another one of those that uh, came free with Top Gear magazine back in the day. Uh, Best of the Stig. I've not seen this one. Dirty Sanchez, the movie. <laughs> this film is absolutely crazy, but uh, so funny. I could laugh. Uh, a TV show I've never really seen before. I've, I've, I've heard of it, and it's supposed to be pretty funny, but. Uh, First season of the Mindy Project, uh, and then another TV show, uh, Dirty Sexy Money. This is uh, season one. Um, I picked up season two of this a couple of weeks ago in another Granger Games again for fifty p. Um, thinking, when would I ever find <laughs> season one at uh, at such a great price and yet here we are a couple of weeks later with season one same price uh, Community this again is the first series uh, again I've seen odd episodes of this and I really enjoyed what I saw so uh, a film I absolutely love Enigma um, great great film uh, a film I've not seen I do own the first one but uh, not seen this one the second best exotic marigold hotel uh, and then this last lot all come from the charity shops. Um, so firstly, from the uh, big mega uh, daisy chain charity uh, warehouse, I guess it is. It's a huge place. Uh, it's mostly furniture, but uh, they do do uh, other stuff that charity shops sell. They've got a few clothes and uh, toys. and They used to have absolutely hundreds and hundreds of DVDs although they were always in pretty poor condition for the most part uh, and when they first opened they were five for two pounds which was you know a good price uh, and I picked up quite a few at uh, that price but they always seem to get in the worst of the worst when it comes to DVDs not not titles but condition um, the condition's really, really bad. After Christmas, uh, or even before Christmas, they'd put them, they'd put the DVDs down to um, five for a pound, which was great. Um, but after Christmas, in the new year, they uh, had a sale and had all the DVDs at ten pence each. Now I missed the majority of that because I was uh, sick uh, from pretty much Boxing Day right through to, uh, gosh. Uh, 4th or 6th of January somewhere around there and 
yeah by the time I got into there the, just like the second weekend in January there were there was nothing left or next to nothing left and they haven't really um, got back to the even close to the level that the in fact the level of the stock at the moment I think is less than it was after the sale um, but I still managed to pick up a few items I know I'm branding on it and, uh, so yeah I picked up uh, these were all pretty much 20 pence each um, five for a quid uh, so the first thing I spotted and I was shocked that this was in with the five for a pound but it was the Keith Lemon movie on blu-ray this is still factory sealed uh, it comes with a slip cover now this film wasn't that good um, I watched it on I want to say Amazon but it might have been Netflix but I watched it on one of the others and uh, yeah I thought it was quite disappointing um, I'm usually I usually like Keith Lemon and, and uh, all the other stuff that Lee Francis has done you know way back to um, Bo Selector and uh, used to really like Avid Merion he was hilarious but Keith Lemon's pretty good as well you know Celebrity Juice is, is really really funny um, I didn't find this that good um, but that said for 20p I wasn't going to pass it up I, you know, I'll give it another try uh, and I've got uh, Kangaroo Jack um, this is a lot of fun a film I've never seen before The Bounty Hunter uh, a bit of Disney Atlantis Lost Empire this is I'm not I'm not a big fan I have to say of the for the most part the Disney classic movies the classic animated movies I do like Aladdin um, I like The Lion King um, this is more of a sci-fi uh, even if it is one of their classic movies but uh, I'm not seeing it so I'll give it a go um, The Long Way Down the complete series I've got uh, the Long Way Round, which is really, really good. Uh, so, check that out. Uh, a film that uh, I'm quite surprised that I didn't already own. Um, Austin Powers Gold Member. I've got the other two on DVD, so that uh, completes the trilogy. Uh, some Scooby Doo, Creepiest Capers. Um, this actually isn't a movie, I didn't realise it wasn't a movie. It's just uh, TV episodes, but because uh, I'm obviously collecting the, the DVD movies. Uh, then next, uh, Robin Williams live on Broadway. Can't beat uh, a bit of Robin Williams. And this just intrigued me. Um, this is Interview with a Vampire, um, but it's got a slip cover, which is, you know, not out of the ordinary. But inside the slip cover is a snapper. You know me, I do like these snapper cases. But I've never seen one of these snappers with a slip cover. Really, really weird. And it, the slip cover does belong to this release. Um, you know, the, the barcodes do match. Uh, it's not like it's been taken off a uh, you know, normal Amory release and slipped on here. It actually does come with it. So it's, yeah, it was just intriguing. Plus, it's a great film. And then finally, from uh, this lot. The Sunday Late Night Project. Now I do remember the Friday Night Project with uh, with these two, Alan Carr and uh, Justin Lee Collins, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, so I don't know, this this must be a, a special of some kind, uh, Sunday Late Night Project, I don't know. Um, oh My God contains the bits they didn't want you to see, so... I guess it's the stuff that wasn't shown on the telly. But uh, just thought that they called it the Sunday Night Project. But anyway, uh, and just the other day, I went into uh, into town on my lunch break to post a couple of parcels. Um, and in the town close to where I work, there's only four charity shops, and one of them. Um, oh, I've gone blank now for what it's called. Um, Marie Curie although I do go in every time just to see what they have they're always really expensive um, as far as charity shops are concerned I mean, you know, two quid for a DVD isn't considered to be expensive I suppose but uh, when it comes to charity shops it's a lot more than I normally pay um, and it's not like 
its new releases or you know within year old releases um, they're all just the same old common stuff that all the other charity shops have so I never buy anything from them very rarely uh, and even the Blu-rays are I think are overpriced uh, I mean, the minimum price I have on a Blu-ray there is five pounds uh, a box set I've seen as much as 25 pounds which is I think it's ridiculous but for some reason I spotted this in there the other day for three quid this is the uh, Pink Panther film collection and I was gobsmacked um, because most of their DVD box sets are you know, eight, ten, twelve pounds um, bigger box sets that recently had uh, an NCIS um, season one to eight I think DVD box set and they were asking 30 quid for it <laughs> yeah but this three quid I was gobsmacked another thing I don't like about this place um, it doesn't matter with something like this but they always put uh, they always put sellotape around around here which like I said for something like this doesn't really matter but when it's got uh, like a box set that's got a card sleeve or a card box getting sellotape off something like that without damaging it is nigh and impossible sometimes um, so it's yeah it's a real pain and plus um, you've got to take the sticky tape off to check the discs which is uh, to me is a pain as well but um, yeah I'm ranting now so yeah the Pink Panther uh, three quid I was really really chuffed to get that I watched the first one the other night <laughs> I haven't seen that for such a long time really really funny uh, I'm looking forward to the rest uh, then these last few came from Sue Riders. Uh, the first thing I got was Flight of the Concords, uh, the complete second season. Now I see the first series, I've got the first series. Uh, again, this, this is in a slip cover. I got the first series last year. Uh, I, I see them all the time, series one. This is the very first time I've ever come across series two. Actually, well, yes, it is the first time, but that said, I've uh, come across it since then. Um, but yeah, this was a, a quid. Um, I've pretty much stopped buying charity shop DVDs now at a pound because there's so many selling them for less than a pound. But this was something I've not seen, uh, certainly out and about. Um, so for a pound, I was happy to pick that up. Yeah, funny. That said, two days after I bought that, I was in another charity shop and I saw the uh, the series one and two box set for two quid. So um, it wasn't any better value than that. I, mean, I already have the first series anyway. But uh, yeah, uh, and then finally, a couple of VHS. They had these on at fifty pence each, or two for fifty pence. Okay, um, or if you were. Uh, feeling uh, really generous um, five for a quid um, they only had about seven tapes and there were five on there I wanted um, but these two I was happy to get for a total of 50p uh, Billy Connolly live the greatest hits uh, watch this the night I got it <laughs> that's really good yeah really do like get Billy Connolly and then this this is just for collecting really I've already got the Blu-ray this, but uh, I just like the, the packaging for this. And I love the film. This is the fifth element, the uh, the widescreen edition VHS. But it comes in this card box. I have a few other VHS tapes in, in the same type of packaging in this, but yeah, I literally got it just for collecting reasons. It's uh, just a nice little collectible for 25 pence. I had to grab it. So that's it, uh, part two of what I picked up in the last couple of weeks of February. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!